Welcome back to the channel, guys. I got a fun one today. We have a ring camera up here that has decided to stop. Well, the ring camera works, the light stopped. And the one over here on the other garage is uh, going out. It's starting to flicker. And uh, <laughs> ring doesn't sell replacement light bulbs, if you didn't notice. They want you to buy a whole new unit for 300 bucks. And I'm not okay with that. Um, I think it's pretty hilarious because all these companies trying to say they're they care about the environment and they want you to throw away the whole entire unit and buy a new one. So today I'm going to show you guys how to spend $15 on a new lamp base and roughly about five bucks each on new bulbs. So when they do burn out in the future, five bucks, quick unscrew, screw in, piece of cake. Stay tuned. All right. So the first thing I'm going to pull these cap screws off. I'm um, just going to loosen those with the pliers and then I probably should be able to get the rest of them by hand the rest of the way. Um, I want to pull a whole unit off because there's some electronics in there. I want to make sure we navigate this properly. All right, got the cap screws off. This should just pop out. Yep. Make sure the power's off before you do this. We can look inside and you can see my wire caps in there. I'm probably just going to have to clip those because those are crimp-ons. And uh, we'll just redo those when it's time. All right, make sure your power is definitely off before you do this, okay? I'm going to clip the side coming from the house because I don't want to lose too much length on the light side do that to the rest of them. Just clipping out these these ties so we can get in there and work with these a little bit better. And then let's sort out what's going on here. On another topic, these are the lights I bought at Lowe's. They run about $15 a pair. This is just the sockets, right? The outlets. And they have a very similar looking base. So I'm also, before I get too far ahead, I wanna make sure that these are gonna adapt. Um, but I am gonna go ahead and clip these wires that are coming out of the lights here and we're just going to run wires straight through the back of this with some new uh 15 amp rated wires that go into where we're tying into the wall okay, so we got all the wires loose now and you can see this is where the power goes in on these two leads right here um, and then you also have this red line coming out of this feed and that should be basically the the line that's powered to the lights once the motion sensor activates it so I'm going to strip this lead that's going to get wired directly to the house. I'm going to clip this lead and clip this lead and run those directly to the lights. This doesn't need to be there anymore. You can pull it out, clip the wires or you can keep it. doesn't really matter. We're not using that anymore. That's a 24 volt ballast for these lower powered whites, uh, lights, uh, 24 volt. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, 12 watt, 24 volt, I believe. Ah, don't quote me. It's not the right amount of power. <laughs> so we're gonna bypass that. In fact, this may be the only problem with this. It may not actually be the lights, but uh, I don't wanna have to keep dealing with replacing this over and over and over again. Going with these screw-in bulbs, all we have to do is replace bulbs that are a lot easier to work with. Okay, I got these clipped and stripped. I unlocked the lock nut, and now I'm gonna unscrew this from the base. And these new lights, if I'm lucky, will match up with the threads. I'm pretty sure they will. Okay, let's give it a try. Feed those through there. And bear with me, I'm trying to record and do this at the same time. It looks like a match. Yep, it's a match. Awesome. Okay, I have the hot leads here with the red, which is basically the switched on and off coming from the housing here with the motion sensor. I'm gonna tie those together and then the remaining leads will get tied directly to the house. Um, the common, I guess, which is, forgive me for the wrong terminology, the white lines will connect to the house. I guess that's the neutral. Um, and this black will connect to the black lead from the okay, house. Okay, there's our new setup. I'm gonna go ahead and tie it in and give it a try. Oh, the common pitfalls of doing handiwork. Look at that, this piece of crap just snapped as soon as I turned it. Um, I have an extra one I'll work with just to get through the video, but just keep in mind, these are not built very strong. Don't put any leverage on them. All right, <laughs> plan B worked. Let's get these turned on. There you go, guys, they're working. I can't uh, do the ring app at the same time I'm recording, same phone, but uh, you just gotta take my word for it. You can turn them on and off with the app. Motion sensor is working, ring light, ring camera is still working, and I'll call this a successful 
pack job. Again, to get another one of those cam or one of those uh, light fixtures to replace the one that snapped with hardly any effort. I mean, literally, be careful screwing those light bulbs in. That's all it takes. If you try to turn one of those things too hard, you might end up having to replace one of those. Um, you can check out other brands if you want something a little more durable, but uh, I think they'll work for what they are. Um, if you guys like that, please like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned. I'm going to be doing another hack job on some other lamps that I have that also have integrated LEDs that burned out. So stay tuned, and uh, please give me a thumbs up as well. Take care.